What an exciting race. Matt Temple, I'll start with you. Another Australian Championship. Congratulations. That was a tough swim out there tonight. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, been an interesting six months changing coach, but to pour for time like that. Um, would have liked to be quicker, but can't really complain. Well, this pool has always been a happy hunting ground for you, and now it's your home training pool as well. So as you said, change coaches, change squads, your teammate of the man standing next to you. It's obviously done you well. Yeah, definitely. Um, always love competing in Adelaide, especially training alongside Kyle. One of the best. Yeah, like, can't really complain. And an exceptional Olympic campaign last year, fifth in the 100 fly final. So you're on a Commonwealth Games and a World Championship team. Let's do it all over again. Yeah, can't wait. Thank you. Congratulations, Matt. Well done tonight. We really like seeing you in the 100 fly, Kyle Chalmers. Congratulations, even with a lost cap. Still come up with a second spot. I know, my bloody cap blew off real early. I knew it was going to as well because I put a bit too much Aboriginal bush medicines on me and <laughs> bloody felt a bit slippery and she fell off pretty quick. But uh, So it wasn't the hair dye? No, it wasn't the hair dye. <laughs> Could have been played into it, but um, to give it a wash today. But yeah, it's good doing butterfly. I think it's something I grew up doing. Um, it's my 10th trials. My first trials, I was, I don't know, 13, 12, 13 years old and qualified in the 100 butterfly, so it's nice to go back to my roots swim butterfly and hopefully come good by Paris it's only been six weeks back in the pool so feeling right we never ever doubt you and so good to do it in front of a home crowd as well it's always nice having familiar faces up in the crowd to celebrate it with and then do it with one of my great mates um yeah, it's special obviously he's back to back in the 100 fly now and I think he's got a few more under to come so it's uh, a privilege to be the underdog and chase for a bit Oh, we like that. Well done to both of you. Congratulations, Carl Chalmers, Matt Temple. I'm now going to bring in this man, Cody Simpson. I'll very quickly explain, because Kyle has decided not to swim world championships, that means there's a second spot up for grabs on that world championship team. You've made it by the skin of your teeth by equaling the qualifying time and finishing third. We spoke to Rowan Taylor before head coach and he said if that happens he'll take you. Are uh, you going to Budapest? Oh god I hope so. I mean that's a dream come true. Like I had a great swim this morning and so much progress from last year. I've just been busting my ass all year so it's amazing to see results like this pay off and I was hoping I could go a little quicker tonight but to scrape under is a real dream. I had no idea it was going to happen this meet so I'm through the roof. Well, let's talk about it. The goal, as you've always said, is Paris 2024. Yeah. This is a bonus. This is a stepping stone. Yeah. This is good. I only started training uh, a little under two years ago, after like 10, 11 years out of the water, and I didn't even think I'd be remotely competitive, even racing until this year at the earliest. So to potentially make a team already is just a bonus on the way to Paris. I can sense the excitement from you, and so I should, but for all the naysayers out there that said that this swimming comeback was a bit of a publicity stunt, what do you say now? <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it certainly wasn't. It never was. Yeah. It's, you, been a, it's been a family affair. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Mum. Hey, Dad. Love you guys. <laughs> Congratulations, Cody Simpson. And, of course, Mum and Dad, Angie.